perfect timing. <laughs> well, what a dream. He was so charming and handsome. I hope I get to meet someone like that at school. Ayano, uh, hurry up. You're gonna be late on your first day. I know, I'm up. It would be great to have a romance at school at last. No one was good enough. But that boy last night seemed perfect. Huh? Ow! I'm sorry. Are you alright? Here, let me help you up. Oh, yeah. I'm fine. Oh my god. It's him! You're not hurt, are you? I feel so bad running into you. I'm totally fine. That's a relief. I was really worried for a moment. Well, I've got to get going or I'll be late for class. Oh, of course. School. <laughs> See you around. Goodbye. This is destiny. Well, well. What a surprise. Will history repeat itself? You were late again. I wasn't. I made it before the bell rang. I wanted to walk to school together. I'm sorry. We can walk home together. Damn right we will. And you will have to meet me at lunch on the school rooftop. Huh? Why? Don't question me. Just meet me. And don't be late. Okay. Fine. I'll meet you. Good. We best get to class. Let's go. Yeah. Who the hell was she? Mm -hmm. Who's this? How strange. I'm glad you came. I was curious. Who are you? And how'd you get my number? Collecting information about the students at the school is... my hobby. It's earned me the nickname Infochan. My specialty is uncovering people's darkest secrets. So getting your number was an easy task. Darkest secrets, huh? Prove it. Let's hear a secret about someone from this school. This morning, on her way to school, Ayano Aishi bumped into her Prince Charming and fell in love on the spot. How could you possibly know that? Like I said, it's my specialty. I plan to become a journalist when I leave the school, so I'm honing my skills here while I can. That's nice. What do you want from me? I'd like to share some information with you. The girl you saw talking to your senpai this morning was Osana Najimi. As you have already guessed, she's had a huge crush on senpai for a long time. She plans to confess her love on Friday under the cherry tree one week from now. And senpai is not one to turn down a love confession. If she confesses to him, he will say yes. The cherry tree is known to bind those who fall in love under it together forever. How cliché. Why would you tell me this? Cliché indeed, and not a good story. You see, I'm the president of the newspaper club. Sadly, no one reads my newspaper, even though I pour my soul into it. There just aren't enough exciting things going on in school other than who gossiped about who or who wore an ugly dress over the weekend. Typical school drama for you. Exactly. If there was a bit more drama going on in this school, I could write more interesting articles. 
if something tragic happens to Asana before Friday, she won't be able to steal Senpai away from you, and I'll have a juicy story for my newspaper. What are you saying? Are you telling me to hurt Osana for your benefit? No, of course not. I'm not saying you should hurt her. I'm saying you should kill her. Kill her? That's right. If a death were to occur at school, everyone would want to hear about it, and I'll be the one giving it to them. Except for the identity of the killer, of course. I would never tell a soul about your involvement. It would be even better if you killed a few other students. Just imagine how terrified the students would be if random girls started popping up dead. The more fear you can inflict on the students, the more they will come to my newspaper for answers, and the more successful I become. Of course, if you killed everyone at the school, no one would read my newspaper, so don't go too wild. <laughs> You're insane. And you fell in love with someone you bumped into on the streets. You're not normal either. No, you don't understand. I saw Senpai in my dreams. That means our meeting was fate. We belong together. It's, it's our destiny. Oh, I don't doubt that for a second. You'd be willing to do anything to be with your Senpai, wouldn't you? Yes, anything. Then you'd have no problem killing Osana-chan, right? I'm sure you could. Just consider my proposal. But come Friday, Osana will be confessing her love to your dear senpai. Friday. I'll be going now. I've got articles to write. I'll see you later. I have to get rid of her by Friday? I wonder how I should do it. Hi, I'm Coconut Haruka. I'm sitting over there by Saki. We're old childhood friends. What's your name? Ayano Aishi. Oh, that's a lovely name. Uh, do you live nearby? <sighs> well, me and Saki walk to school together every day. If you live nearby, maybe we can meet up and... That's Osana Najima. You know her. Well, no, not really. I mean, she lives nearby, but I barely even talk to her. Hi. Do you mind if I sit next to you? I'm Ayano Aishi. Not at all. I'm Osana Najima. Nice to meet you. Are they both for you? Of course not. I made one for a friend. Oh. Is this one for your boyfriend? No! Sorry. He's not my boyfriend. But I... I like him. Oh. How cute. Are you a good cook? No. Not really. But I made it with love, so I'm sure it'll taste great. Yeah, of course. With love. Alright everyone, settle down. Let's get this over with. Alright, you may leave your belongings here and change in the locker rooms for P.E. Teacher. I'm sorry, but I'm not feeling well. Is it alright if I miss the next lesson? Do what you want. Are you alright, Ayana? 
I want me to go to the infirmary with you. Thanks, but I'm all right. Just feeling a little sick. Okay, well, I'll hopefully see you after. Have fun. My, what was that? I'm sure someone pushed me. Now, why would anyone want to do that? You obviously just tripped. <laughs> from. Hmm. You know, you could be of use to me. Sorry, Senpai. Oh, hey, Anno. Are you feeling better now? Yeah, much better. Thanks. That's great. You didn't miss much. <laughs> Are you going to lunch? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm meeting my friend for lunch. We were gonna meet- On the rooftop? Ah, yeah, that's right. With the bento. Well, good luck. Right, thanks. I'll see you later. Took you long enough. I came straight here. So, what did you want? Huh, here. What's this? It's a bento, stupid! Is it for me? No! Well, I mean, I didn't make it for you. I just made too much this morning, so you can have the extras. Oh, sweet, thanks! It's not a big deal. Ugh, this tastes weird. Huh? What did you put in this? What's wrong with it? Oh, I feel sick. Hey, it's not that bad. <coughs> hey! Get back here! Oh no, what did I do wrong? Let me try mine and see how it tastes. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, what is that? Oh god, I don't feel well. <laughs> Are you feeling better now? A little, yeah. You should be careful next time you cook. Food poisoning can be very serious. I'm sorry. Nurse, come quick! A boy won't stop throwing up. Not another one. I'll be right there. Stay here till you feel better, then go home. <gasps> believe I made Daryl throw up. He's gonna hate me now. I spent all night making that bento for him. It didn't taste like that this morning. Well, I guess food can go rotten when you least expect it. What do I do now, Ayano? Do you think you'll forgive me? Hmm. I don't know. He might think you did it on purpose. But I didn't! <laughs> Well, it could have been worse. You could have killed him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Thanks for helping me, Ayano. My pleasure. I'm gonna go home once the nurse comes back. So you can go back to lunch now. Okay, feel better. Bye! Trash the incinerator outside, please. You can go home then. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thanks. Have you ever cooked before? Of course I have. Well, don't offer me any more bentos. Fine. I'll never cook for you again. I didn't say that. Usana, come back. Look, just buy me lunch tomorrow, and I'll forgive you. Forgive me? You're the one who insulted my cooking! By yourself! Oh, I can't win. Fuck. <laughs> so that's Ayano Aishi. We best let Megami know. Mom? Dad? What's this? Welcome home, sweetie. I hope you had a great first day at school. Unfortunately, something came up and me and your father had to leave town. I'm not sure when we'll be back, so look after yourself. I've left you some money for food in your room. Now don't go into the basement. Just because I'm not here. You're not ready. Not yet. I'll call you when things settle down. Love, Mum and Dad. P.S. Be aware of the Psycho family. <laughs> well, well, well. What's Mother been hiding? I'm glad you decided to join me, but I forgot to mention something I require for my services. And what's that? Panty shots. 
Excuse me? Unfortunately, I require pictures of girls' panties from you. You see, my sources require payment too. That's disgusting. It's what I require if you want my help. Fine. I'll get you your panty shots. Excellent. on the table. It's not in my bag. Hey, did anyone go in my bag just now? Hmm? No, I didn't see anyone. Okay, thanks. Morning, Osana. Oh, morning, Anno. What's wrong? I've lost my phone. It was right here on the table. I went to the toilet. When I came back, it was gone. Oh, dear. Uh, here, I'll help you look. Why don't you go check the toilet to see if you left it there? Yeah, good idea. Thanks. She used Taro's name as a password. And there's nothing but mean texts to him. So, panty shots. I can't get caught taking them, so I'll have to be careful. But with this, it's two birds with one stone. <laughs> Okay, that'll do for now. What do you need? A packet of cigarettes. Done. Here, I found this phone. Oh, thank you. I'll try and find its owner. Uh, actually, I know whose it is. It's Osana Najimi's. Okay, I'll pass it along. Is there... something else? Well... actually... I saw what was on her phone when I picked it up and... Uh... there were a lot of photos of girls' panties on there. A lot of them. I see. That's... very disturbing. I'll discuss this with her. You may go now. Alright. Hey, did you ever find your phone? No. My mom's going to kill me. I only just got it and- Can Osana Najmi please come to the student guidance office immediately? Oh, maybe someone found my phone. How lucky. I have left your cigarettes outside class 1-4's window. Oh, 
Good. You got your phone back. Who found it? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm not allowed to say. Oh, uh, okay. So, how are things going with your friend? Huh? The one you made the bento for? Oh, it's all right. He came round to mine and had tea. He made sure I didn't cook, though. The nerve. He... he was in your house? Yeah, he lives nearby. That's how we became friends. Oh, how cute. <laughs> Alright class, let's begin. And don't forget you have a test tomorrow, so be prepared. Are you coming to the cafeteria, Ayano? Hmm? Oh, uh, no. I've got something I need to do. I'll see you later. Okay. Hey, sis. We eating up on the roof? Sure. Hey, look at my ring. How cute is that? It's lovely. You best be careful not to lose it. You best take off your ring while we're eating. You don't want to get messy. Ah, you're right. Good idea. Oh! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh. She's not here yet? Doesn't seem like it. Such a weirdo. <laughs> There she is, here to stare at us from afar once again. Huh, Oka? Oh, uh. Hmm, that's a first. She never leaves. Hey, where's my ring? Oh! It's you again. Ayano, isn't it? Oh, yes. That's right. I talk things over with Osana. Can I help you with anything else? Actually, it's Asana again. Oh? I saw her smoking on school grounds just now. I felt like I had to tell someone. Oh dear, that's not good at all. You did right in telling me. I'll talk to her. You won't say I told on her, will you? Of course not. I won't mention you at all. But I must say, it's nice to have a student looking out for the school. Makes a nice change. It's my pleasure. Hey, did you manage to do your thing at lunch? Not quite, but it'll be done soon. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Someone must have stolen it, sis. I'll come with you to the counselor's room at your school. Someone might have found it. Can Osana Najmi please come to the student guidance office immediately? Oh, no. Not again. I'm sure it's nothing. Miss, please! I've lost my ring! Sekiu, please, wait outside. I'm in the middle of something. But someone stole my ring! It's very important to me! That will have to wait. Please, go outside. My ring! What? That's my ring! Wait! Osana? Is this your bag? Yes, that's my bag. But I didn't take your ring. Smoking, lying, and now theft. Not to mention your phone. This does not look good for the school, Osana! How could you, Osana? But I didn't! I don't understand. <laughs> Osana's been expelled! What? <laughs> that jealous brat stole my ring. And she was caught smoking. No way. It was all in her bag. And she also had something on her phone. <laughs> Probably been sending nudes.
It's all over school. That girl, Sana, you know her well, right? Yeah, I know her. Do you think she, uh, did it? I wouldn't have thought she'd do anything like that, but it was all in her bag. Well, yeah, she got caught red-handed. I guess. She must have, right? Anyways, I'm going this way. See you later. Yeah, alright, I'll see you later. don't want to hear it, Osana. Taro, please. I didn't do anything. I can't trust you. I wouldn't have thought you could stoop so low, but the way you treat me. Always yelling, telling me what to do. I guess this suits you, after all. No, Taro. You've got it all wrong. Enough, Osana. Leave me alone. Taro. No. Well done. You eliminated your rival. Everyone will be reading my newspaper to hear all the facts. I'm surprised you didn't do more. It would have been too easy. There are plenty of ways to eliminate a rival. Keep watching, and you might learn a few things. I still can't believe it. Osana expelled so early? Doesn't look like a promising school year, huh? Don't say that. At least she's gone now. That makes it more promising. Right? Osana got what she deserved. Yeah, but I still can't believe she did that. Well, what about you, Ayano? You sat next to her and became friends. What do you think about all this? It's sad. Being expelled like that will really ruin your life. You just can't be too careful with who you trust nowadays, huh? Right. Enough. Everyone sit down. As most of you know, Osana was expelled for... Well, that's not important. Just let that be a lesson to all of you. Misbehavior at this school is not tolerated. The Psycho family own this school, and it's in everyone's best interest not to upset them. Stupid Osana. What was she thinking? How could she have done that? It's not like her at all. Maybe she really was framed. Hey! Uh, I heard what happened to your friend, and I just wanted to make sure you were alright. Oh, thanks, but I'm alright. Here, I made these. Why don't you take one? Uh, no thanks. I had a bad experience eating someone's food before. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Don't worry, though. I'm the head of the cooking class. I promise you it's not bad. Um, okay then. Thanks. Wow! It really is good! Oh, phew. After insisting it was good, I got really worried it wouldn't be your taste. Man, I'd have to demote myself as a head chef. <laughs> I'm just glad not to be throwing up. Oh my, it couldn't have been very good then. It was Osana's. I see. I'm sure she tried her best. I mean, cooking takes practice after all. Well, thanks. It really is tasty. Oh, I'm glad. Come visit me in the cooking class if you ever want to try more. I'd be happy to cook for you. Really? Wow, thanks. I might just do that. Of course. I'll see you later then. Yeah, bye.
All right, those with classes can go. Everyone else, tidy up before heading home. Hey, Saki. You're part of the cooking class, right? Yeah. Are you wanting to join? Uh, yeah. Can I walk with you? Sure. Hey, am I? I brought a new recruit. Oh my, how lovely! I'm the leader of the club. My name's Amai Odayaka. Hi, I'm Ayano Aishi. Have you tried cooking before? I've experimented. <laughs> Haven't we all? We'll try on an apron and we shall begin. Okay. <laughs> Yours turned out great, Saki. It looks and tastes lovely. Thanks. <sighs> and finally, our new recruit, Ayano. How did it go? Try it and find out. Mm, okay, that's different. A, a good first attempt. <sighs> Not as easy as it looks. Okay, everyone, clean up and let's head up home. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey, Ayano, do you want to walk home together? So, is she in your class? Uh, yeah, she was friends with Osana before she got expelled. Oh, did it upset her? Honestly, I can't tell. Hmm. Hi! I didn't know you were part of an after-school club. Which club are you in? And you are? Oh, sorry. Um, we met in the infirmary. I went looking for a nurse for a boy throwing up. And... Uh, well, my name's Budo. Budo Masuta. Well, okay, Budo. I'm going home. Oh, of course. Get home safe. Wow, what a woman. Aishi, that was very dangerous. These gates are very strong and they won't stop once pressed. You could have lost a leg. That'd teach you to be on time. Bit of an overkill for tardiness. That depends. Why are you late? I... I got distracted. Goodness, girl. You could at least come up with a good excuse. Get to class now. Don't let it happen again. I won't. So you asked him to join the cooking club? Yeah. He seemed very sad about his friend Osana. It would be a really good distraction for him. Are you sure that's the only reason? What do you mean? Oh, come on, am I? You seem so happy talking to him before and watching him eat your snacks. I think you're in love. Ah, no. That's not what it is. I just wanted to help. Sure. Well, just keep feeding him your sweets and he'll be yours in no time. <laughs> hey, Gia. Hey, Ayano. You coming to cooking club today? Absolutely. Hey, how's it going? <coughs> I don't know why. 
I'm sorry. Oh, you just seem so delicate these days. I know Asana was a friend, but you're gonna have to move on, dude. Right. Oh man, I'm sorry about bringing it up. How about we go to the arcades after school and forget about this whole mess? I was actually going to check out the cooking class. Wait, you're seriously going to a cooking class? Really? Well, this girl invited me to join and- Whoa, you never mentioned anything about a girl. Maybe I'll join too. Please don't. Hmm, fine. But you need to tell me everything. No way. Wait, where do you think you're going? Oh, I almost forgot my apple. Where'd it go? Oh, Hayano! I'm so glad you came for another lesson today. We have a new member joining. This is Taro. Hi. We've actually met before. Oh, perfect! You two can buddy up for today's lesson. Uh... uh sen senpai... Uh, uh, oh my! I wonder what happened. Looks like you'll have to buddy up with Taro instead, am I? I guess so. I hope you don't mind, Taro. Not at all. <laughs> So, you have a new rival already. That was fast. What's so special about this boy, anyway? Watch your mouth. Calm down. I didn't mean anything by it. You wake up on the wrong side of the bed this morning? Or is the rival really getting to you this time? I managed to get a photo of a new cooking class member yesterday. Surprised you weren't around. They look cute together. Well, yesterday was a big success. <laughs> it was fun! Aww, could you be any more in love? Maybe you should make a bento for Taro. That's a bad idea. It would remind him of Osana. But I think the cooking class is really making him trust in my cooking. So one day, maybe... Proving you're the better woman already, huh? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> Don't worry. No one can beat your cooking. What you got planned for the next class? A chocolate cake. Nice and simple. I like it. Speaking of, that girl yesterday, Ayano, wonder why she took off like that. I have no idea. I was worried about her, but she was friends with Osana, who was friends with Taro. So maybe something went on between them? A uh, falling out? Oh, I hope not. It would be nice if she came to the class later today. Have to wait and see. Hi there. Whoa, you scared me. Sorry about that. What do you want? 
I was just wondering something. Total stab in the dark, but... Uh, do you, by chance, have a crush on my Odayaka? How did you know? She doesn't know, does she? Wait, does she like me? I can't believe this- Calm down. It was just a hunch of mine. She doesn't know. And unfortunately, she doesn't like you. Not yet, anyway. What do you mean? <laughs> Kamanamai, she's not coming. We need to start already. <sighs> yeah, you're right. What's wrong, Amai? Oh my! Nothing at all. Shall we get started? Coming! Yeah, I'm fine. Running low on cash, though. I bet that's because you've eaten nothing but takeout. Maybe. I'll send you some more on my card, but that's it. If you need more money, you should get yourself a job. A job? I can't. I'm too... busy. Busy? Busy doing what? Homework? Hmm, yeah, right. A job will do you good. Keep you from doing something you shouldn't. <sighs> Fine. I'll consider it. But, Mom, where are you? Why have you and Dad left me alone here? I'm sorry, my darling. It couldn't be avoided. Someone very troublesome arrived back in town, and I had to get away. Someone? Who? The psychos you mentioned? Don't get involved, Ayano. It's a long story. You'll have to tell me about it sometime. If you're lucky, I will. It's a good story. 